and this is going to be a lot of fun. So here we go. In this video, we're going to talk about five keto tips to help you get better results in 2021. If you're doing keto, these are five tips that will make all the difference for you. In this video, I'm going to show you some before and after keto transformations. I'm going to show you why you want to avoid these toxic fats and never cook with them on keto, the best cooking oils on keto. I'm also going to explain to you, I'm going to give you examples of keto meal plans for fat loss. I'm going to break down two options for breakfast, two options for lunch, two options for dinner. And then I'm going to give you an opportunity at the end to actually get a $21 My Keto Flex cookbook for free. So stick around for that. And we're going to identify some hidden inflammatory foods on keto and much, much more. So my name is Ben Azadi. I am the founder of Keto Camp. I am uh, the best-selling author of three books. Here at Keto Camp, we're on a mission to educate and to inspire one billion people. I want to thank you for joining me today. Happy New Year, New Year to you. Let me know in the live chat box where you're tuning in from. I see Alina, who's on the Keto Camp team, Rola, Nagam, Beth. Good to see your beautiful faces. So let me share my screen so you can see this presentation. And on Instagram, don't worry, I'm going to be sharing everything that I'm reading here from the actual presentation. All right, so let's talk a little bit about five tips for better results on keto. Number one, here are some transformations that you will get. These are some clients of mine from the Keto Camp Academy. When you apply these five tips I'm about to share with you, you're going to see transformations like this. This is a married couple, couple here, Sander and uh, Maria, who, as you can see, Maria lost 35 pounds of toxic fat. You can see the before and after there. Sander lost, um, how much weight did he lose? He lost almost 70 pounds of toxic fat. He no longer has to rely on his sleep apnea machine. This is an amazing keto transformation. We have David, Keto Camp Academy member as well. As you can see, his before and after, he's actually a type 1 diabetic. We have Diana, who just recently turned 48 years old. And as you can see, she went from a size large to a size small. She said she lowered inflammation, lowered body arthritic pain, bloating is gone. She's in the healthy zone and uh, she's getting blood work soon. So these are some of the results that you will get when you follow these tips. Amy, who just eight pounds a couple weeks into the Keto Camp Academy program, she lost eight pounds. And on the right, we see Jasmine, who actually has lost 50 pounds. Her blood sugars have dropped every single month. How? With healthy keto, with the way that we teach it here. So let me, let me break down how to do this for you. Here's the first tip. Remove spinach and almonds from your keto diet for 30 days. What? Spinach and almonds? Spinach... Almonds are everywhere. Almond flour, almond goodies. I know, I know. And don't shoot the messenger. But here's why. Spinach and almonds are higher in an anti-nutrient called oxalates. Oxalates tend to create gut dysbiosis. Oxalates poke holes in your gut. So think of your gut. You have this mucosal barrier that needs to be nice and tight. But when you have holes being poked in your mucosal barrier, all of a sudden, you have food that goes undigested. You're not able to digest your fats on keto and proteins on keto. It enters your bloodstream and then your immune system needs to deal with it. And if this happens time after time after time, guess what happens? You end up getting an autoimmune disease. That could happen. You get, up, you get inflammation that's increased and you just don't feel good. And it could be these two items that are sabotaging your health on keto. Um, oxalates, so we have this mucosal barrier, which is a physical barrier, just like if, you know, I have skin to protect my blood, that's my physical barrier. This is your mu mucosal barrier. Oxalates can do that. Oxalates could also create kidney stones. So if you're worried about that on keto, that could be the reason why. So for good measure, just remove the almonds, remove the spinach. You're probably wondering, okay, Ben, how do I, what do I replace that with? And look, this is just for 30 days. I know that if you just do this for 30 days, you're going to see a reduction of inflammation and then your fat burning hormones could do their job better. So replace the almonds, write this down. Here are my um, five favorite nuts on keto. Replace them with walnuts, pecans, Brazil nuts, peely nuts, and macadamia nuts. Of course, we want to make sure these are organic and raw. We also want to make sure we are never getting our nuts and our seeds from the bulk bin 
at your grocery store. Do you know what the bulk bin is? That's when you go to the grocery store and you get those little scoopers and put it in your own bag and everybody else goes in there. We don't want to use that. Never use that. I think they probably stopped doing that because of the COVID stuff. But if you have that option, don't do that because as it opens up, air gets in there, it gets oxidized, mold could grow in there. That's not good. Always get your nuts and seeds in a sealed bag. So replace this, the almonds with pecans, walnuts, Brazil nuts, peely nuts, and macadamia nuts. Secondly, we want to replace spinach with the following. Arugula is a terrific, play, a terrific green leafy vegetable to replace with. Uh, dandelion greens, bok choy, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. Making this little switch could be the biggest difference for you because here's what's going to happen. As you start to make these simple little swaps, remember, it's just for 30 days. As you make these simple little swaps, you're going to heal your gut, you're going to digest food better, and you're going to reduce inflammation. When it comes to getting results, feeling better, and burning fat, it's all about reducing cellular inflammation. It's not about calories in versus calories out. No, it's about your amazing body, this chemistry lab that you have inside of your body, which is going to help you lose weight and reduce symptoms. All right, let's get on to the tip number two here. Tip number two, remove cow dairy for 30 days. Ben, you're killing me here. I love spinach. I love almonds. I love my cheese. And I know, but here's why. Cow dairy, a lot of people have a reaction to cow dairy, especially pasteurized cow dairy. Now, if you could get raw grass-fed dairy, that could be okay. But most of the time, you're not going to be able to find that. So raw pasteurized dairy. First of all, when, when, dairy, when cow dairy is pasteurized, what does that mean? It means it's heated at high temperatures to kill all the enzymes, good and bad, so it's a dead substance and your body has to actually enliven it up. So it takes energy away from you. So it'll decrease your energy level and it'll create an inflammatory response in most people. A lot of people have a sensitivity to dairy. They don't realize it. So I recommend replacing all cow dairy, milk and cheese with sheep milk and sheep cheese. That does way better. People do way better with sheep milk or sheep cheese cheese. So sheep dairy is totally fine. Make that swap. I'm doing it this month myself. Goat cheese is totally fine as well. Goat cheese, goat milk, make that swap. That'll make a big difference in driving down inflammation. And then macadamia nut milk is fine. Just make sure it doesn't have any additives or sweeteners and coconut milk is fine. So just make that switch. So if you're drinking almond milk, you want to switch that to macadamia nut milk or coconut milk. If you're drinking or eating a lot of Cow cheese, you want to switch that to goat cheese or sheep cheese. It's just these simple little swaps that really make a big difference for your keto results. All right, tip number three on keto. Remove all vegetable oils and fish oil. What? Fish oil? I thought that was healthy. We'll get to that. First of all, I want to ask you this question. I interviewed uh, Professor Brian Peskin from uh, MIT. He's an MIT researcher. He's been on the Keto Camp podcast a couple of times. I interviewed him and I also interviewed Dr. Kate Shanahan who wrote the book Fat Burn Fix and Deep Nutrition, classic books. And I asked him the question about these vegetable oils. I said, hey, what's worse for you? You know, smoking cigarettes each day or eating these cooked vegetable oils. And for example, Brian Peskin, he's like, he's a very research oriented man. So he goes, all right, let's look at the research. And let me ask you this question for those of you who are live on here with me. What are the chances, right? According to the stats out there, the research, this is Brian Peskin's research. What are the chances of somebody developing lung cancer if they smoked two packs of cigarettes every single day for 28 years? What do you think the chances are? I want you to put the answer, your answer in the actual uh, comment section. What do you think the percentage is? for somebody who smokes two packs of cigarettes every single day for 28 years? The answer, 16%, right? A little bit, a lot less than what you would think, 16, one six. Now, let me ask you the next, the next question I want you to answer. What are the chances of developing all types of cancer, any cancer, and or heart disease if you consume these rancid fats, these vegetable oils every single day for 28 years? I want you to let me know in the chat box, the comment section down below. What about this person? The answer, 86%. 86%. That might sound crazy, 
I'm going to explain to you why that's the case. And I see your answers. Uh, Iyad, Rola, Beth, Kim. Good to see y'all. Shelly, Andrea, Beth, Agnes. 86% chance of developing cancer or heart disease if you had cooked vegetable oils every single day. Here's why. Your body cannot use these rancid fats, which I'm going to give you a list soon. Your body cannot use these rancid fats for fuel. It gets gunked up into your cell membrane for up to a year. It can take up to a year to get rid of this, these nasty fats, and it creates cellular membrane dysfunction, and it prevents your hormones from communicating, your fat-burning hormones, your nutrients, just havoc, and they're everywhere. I'm going to show you a list soon. I asked this uh, same question. So I, I shared this research with Dr. Kate Shanahan, who was like, she was the nutritionist for the Los Angeles Lakers. Her, her book, Deep Nutrition, is one of those those time-tested health books. And I said, hey, this is what Pro uh, Professor Brian Peskin says. He says 86% chance of cancer or heart disease if you ate vegetable oils every single day. And I said, does that line up with your research, Dr. Kate Shanahan? You know what she said? Actually, it's closer to 100%. <laughs> Whoa. So here are the vegetable oils that you want to avoid like the plague. Avoid these, canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil, cottonseed oil, peanut oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, grapeseed oil, and rice bran oil. Avoid those as much as possible. Now, there's two exceptions on this list. Sunflower oil and safflower oil could be healthy as long as they are organic and cold pressed, and you don't use them for cooking. You use them more for dressings or in a supplement. But the rest are ranted. Stay away from them. This right here will make all the difference for you on keto. Now, the next thing is you want to replace those. You're thinking, what are the healthy oils to cook with? Here are the best oils to cook with and to have your dressings with. Olive oil is terrific. Uh, I personally love the uh, folks over at Fresh Pressed Olive Oil Club. If you want to check them out, you could get a $39 bottle for a buck over at ketocampoliveoil.com. They're my favorite oil to cook with because they, pro they produce the least amount of polar compounds, which are more important than smoke point. Smoke point is a myth. Polar compounds is what you want to look at. And real olive oil produces the least amount of these toxic polar compounds. Avocado oil is also a great cooking oil. Grass-fed butter, grass-fed ghee, those are terrific. I put a little bit of ghee in my coffee. Duck fat is good. Lard is good. And coconut oil are all better options. So replace the vegetable oils with these right here. If you want to get, by the way, I have an entire, I have an entire guide. It's called my Keto Camp Blueprint, where I give you healthy keto approved fats and proteins and even carbs. And then the ones that are worst out there, I give you the best markers to look for when it comes to ketones and glucose. This is a free guide that you could get over at Keto Camp Blueprint. Dot com, ketocampblueprint.com. If you're just joining me here, I'm going to open it up to Q&A later. I'm also going to give you some keto example meal plans, so stick around for that. All right, here's why you want to avoid fish oil. Here are three reasons why you want to avoid fish oil. Yes, even cod liver oil and even krill oil, you want to avoid all of them. 83% of fish oil is rancid on the shelf before you even consume it. That is disgusting. Now, you might be saying, okay, Ben, but what if I took the most pristine fish oil, the 17%? Well, even the best fish oil goes rancid when you consume it because fish oil needs to be at a very really cold temperature in, in the 40s, 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Your body's not cold inside. It's 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So it automatically oxidizes that fish oil. Even if it makes it to your stomach acids, your stomach acids will oxidize it. And it'll actually rob your antioxidants. Your body will take antioxidants and deal with fish oil and you, instead of using those antioxidants for something else. Not good. Fish oil is very unstable. And here's the third reason. There was a study that showed consuming fish oil created cell inflammation for four and a half months, 132 days. And I'm going to show you the study right here from the PEO solution. Here is what it says, quote, 21st century warning. Four and a half months to rid patients of the damaging fish oil excess. It takes 18 weeks to reverse the negative effect of the incorporation of EPA, DHA from fish oil into the cell membrane. This four-month time period is important to understand as it coincides precisely with the time frame 
of significant vascular health improvement that was accelerated by ceasing fish oil use as shown in the Iowa screening. Yikes. Well, look, when I came across the research on fish oil, uh, what was it, like three or four years ago, I was just so shocked. And uh, it, it was a paradigm shift for me because I used to take fish oil for years. I even wrote about it in my first book. I used to promote it to all my clients. And I realized I was wrong. I was dead wrong. So I stopped taking it. I told all my clients I don't recommend they take it anymore. And uh, the research is really, really shocking. Here's the truth. I mean, fish oil is a multi-billion dollar industry. So there's a lot of money behind it, but the science is not there. And it's actually going to do much more harm than good. So you're asking, how? what else can I do to get my, my EPA and DHA? There's a few things you can do. Replace your fish oil with, number one, I use this product. You don't have to get it. This is just what I use and recommend, but it's called Pureform. They are terrific. They're plant-based. Uh, they have incredible research behind their product. I've interviewed their founder, Dr. Jeff Matheson. He's a formulator. Brian Peskin also has a role in it. But they are a four-to-one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3, and it's nitrogen-infused, which preserves it. So I take that. I really feel like a rock star when I take that. If you want to get that, you can go to purelifescience.com, and I have a coupon code BEN4. Uh, that's one option. But you could also eat the fish, wild-caught seafood like salmon. Is great. We just don't want the fish when it's in a supplement. When it's extracted, it's unstable. When it's in the fish, it's fine. So you could have the fish. All right. So next tip, number three. I talk about this often. Keto tip number three is to increase your bitters to help break down fat. Let me break this down for you. When we start eating more fat on the ketogenic lifestyle, which is really what it is, not a diet. When we start eating more fat, we need to break down that fat. And when we do break it down efficiently, we're going to feel great because vitamins A, D, E, and K really, really help us feel good. Burn fat helps the cell membranes love fat. If you look at the cells, the structure of a cell, it has a lipid bilayer, which is made up of protein, saturated fat, and cholesterol. So our body loves fat, we're not made up of carbohydrates. What breaks down fat is bile. I want you to type in the chat box on the comment section, bile, so I know that you're with me here, B-I-L-E. Bile is beautiful. And bile is the missing component for a lot of people who struggle on keto. Your liver, which is this soccer mom organ of all organs, she produces bile. Bile is a green substance that gets stored in your gallbladder, but is also dispersed when you eat fat to break down the fat. It's like a detergent to assimilate the fat-soluble vitamins and then distribute it to your cells so you can feel great. Most people have sluggish bile from toxins to medications to alcohol. We have beat up our poor liver and now it produces sluggish bile and we can't break down the fat and we feel like crap. We just don't feel good on keto. And this is a big reason why. So Angel Mom, I see that. Beth, Nagam, Rola, I see that. Zippor, Karen, Antoine, Bye. I love that you're with me here with the bile. Okay, let's continue. So what do you do? What is the antidote here? Well, you increase your bitters. Bitter is good for the liver, okay? Remember that, bitter and liver. So let's talk a little bit about my favorite ways to stimulate bile flow and my favorite bitters. Ginger root and ginger tea, that's terrific. Look, if you had a cup of ginger tea right before your meal, that could be a great way to break down the fat in that meal. Dandelion greens, dandelion tea are also a great way to do it. Artichokes are terrific on keto because not only do they help build bile, but they also have fiber, which helps to slow down of the breaking down of the fat. Uh, I also love organic coffee can also help you do that. My friends over at Purity Coffee make the best coffee. If you go to ketocampcoffee.com, you can check them out. 10% off if you use Keto Camp. Lemons and limes. If you squeeze lemons and limes all over your proteins on keto, you'll break it down better and absorb the nutrients better. Radishes and radicios and cranberries, those are great. Cranberries, you just want to limit your intake because it does have some carbs. Basil, thyme, and rosemary. These are just herbs that you could smell and stimulate these pancreatic enzymes. You could either consume them or you could smell them. Pretty cool. Cilantro, cilantro and parsley. Season your food with that and that'll help. And then apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is a rock star on keto. If you take a shot of it before a meal, not only will it help you break down the fat in that meal, it also will prevent the glucose response. It'll give you more stable glucose levels. So those are my favorite bitters. All right. Number five, five things to stop doing in 2021, all right? Now, this applies whether you're doing or not. These are more my 
and set things because if you don't master what's going on in here, it doesn't matter how perfectly you do keto. Everything happens on the inside first. I call this inner sizing. So before I break these down and get to your questions and give you some an opportunity to get my Keto Flex cookbook for free, before we get to all that, please on YouTube, hit the thumbs up button. I see there's almost 100 of you live with me right here on YouTube. Hit the thumbs up button to let YouTube know this is helpful. And on Facebook, maybe you could tag somebody here to join you or, or share it on your, on your timeline. It really helps. So let's get into these five principles here. Five things to stop doing in 2021. Num number one, stop trying. Start doing. Okay, whenever you say, I'm going to try that, I'm going to give keto a try, I'm going to give this a try, you're setting yourself up for failure. I always say trying is failure with honor. Just do it because action takers, they rule the world, not intention takers. When you commit to it and you take massive action, the universe conspires to help you out. It really does. And look, it might suck. It will suck. When I first started going through my health journey, look, you might not know my story, but I was 250 pounds when I was 23 years old back in 2008. I was an obese man physically and mentally. I was on the internet several times looking for ways to end my life and commit suicide. I was depressed. I was lost. Didn't understand nutrition at all. I was confused by that. And I got my life together because of books. And it really helped me take ownership. And then I started to exercise. I started to eat healthier. And now that you're doing keto, you're gonna, it's going to suck at times. You know, you're going to see the pizza. You're going to see all the foods out there that taste delicious, but you have committed to this goal of staying on track. And you might have to go through a period of time where it sucks. And it's going to suck. When you embark on a new goal, it's going to suck. All right. When I was starting to work out, I was sore. It sucked. When I went to parties and they were drinking beer and I said, no, it sucked. Same thing is going to happen for you. But here's my formula for success. I want you to type this in as soon as I say it. Suck, 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 cess. Embrace the suck. Keep pushing forward because winners never quit and quitters never win. Next tip. Next thing we want to stop doing in 2021 is to stop being interested in your goals. Start being committed, okay? A lot of people are saying, yeah, I'm interested in that. Uh, you know, I, I, I'd like to get healthy. I'd like to lose the weight on keto. Commit to it. You know, for the month of January, I committed to a few things. Number one, I committed to no cow dairy for the month of January. Number two, I committed to 15,000 steps every single day. Number three, I committed to a 45-minute workout every day, whether it's cardio, stretching, or strength training. Number four, I committed to completing a 5K with the members of my Keto Camp Academy. All right? I'm still on track because I'm committed to doing that. Oh, and I also committed to waking up in the morning and not lying in bed, just getting the day started. I'm 100% I'm successful so far because I'm not interested in accomplishing those goals. I'm committed. So I encourage you, throw your hat over the fence, go get that fence, and paint the airplane while it's flying through the sky. Number three thing we want to stop doing in 2021 is going to be stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop comparing yourself to your friend or your husband or your, your brother who's getting amazing results on keto. Only compete against who you were yesterday. When you think about the world, the world class out there, people who are getting amazing results on keto, what do they have in common? They actually are able to um, only compete against themselves. So have better thoughts yesterday than you did today. Have better thoughts and better actions today than you did yesterday. Okay. I see your comments, Gloria, Alina, Andrea, success. So what we want to do is be one of the world class who are creative and collaborative. Stop comparing yourself against somebody else. I recently interviewed Jeremy Abramson here on the Keto Camp YouTube channel, and comparison is the thief of joy, all right? So only just compete against who, who you were yesterday. I want you to put in the, hash, in the comment section, hashtag beat yesterday. That's our motto here at Keto Camp, hashtag beat yesterday. The, third, the fourth thing we want to stop doing in 2021 to help get you amazing results is to stop watching mainstream media, okay? Open up a book instead. 
Stop watching the news. The news is toxic. The news really is the mainstream media is the enemy of your happiness and your health. Okay, when you think about CNN, for example, what does CNN stand for? Constant negative news. It's not just them. It's all of, all of the mainstream platforms out there. They're going to have you live in fear. And you can't get well and healthy if you live in fear. And one of the quickest ways to deplete your immune system is to live in fear. One of the quickest ways to get a keto stall is to be in fear because you raise cortisol. Cortisol raises glucose. It'll be hard to get uh, ketone production. So instead, open up a book. Read books like Wayne Dyer and Bob Proctor and Lisa Nichols. If you go to ketocampkit.com, I have some of my favorite books that have changed my life. I call it the mental six-pack self-development section. So get your best book. Have, have it change your life. Get into a routine. Switch the time you spend watching the news with reading a book and watch it, what it does for your keto results. One more, and then I'm going to get into some keto meal plans for you. Number five is to stop being the victim and start being the victor, okay? I know 2020 was a challenging year, and I'm not saying what you went through wasn't difficult, but let's live in the present and let's take ownership because here's a universal law. When one door closes, another door opens up. It's just that so many people are so focused on the closed door that they don't actually walk down the hallway and see all the brand new doors that have opened up for them. You got to really want it, okay? Just saying you want to get results on keto, but not really being committed and doing all these steps, that's not enough, okay? That's the cold, hard truth. I'm going to share a story with you real quick before I open it up to the, the, before I share the keto meal plans for you. There was a story about a young boy, a teenage boy who would walk to school every morning in this new neighborhood they moved into, and he would see this old man and old woman on the porch on their walking chair as he walked to school. And he would hear this dog crying and whimpering as he walked by. And every day he would hear this dog and he would wonder, why is that dog crying? What's going on with that dog? So he said to himself, okay, if I hear this dog crying tomorrow on my way to school, I'm going to ask this man and woman, what's going on? Why are these dogs crying like that? So he, lo and behold, he walks by and then he sees that they are actually on the rocking chairs again, and he hears the dog crying. And he says, okay, I'm going to ask what's up with this dog. So he walks up to the man and lady and says, excuse me, mister, excuse me, ma'am. Why is your dog whining every morning I walk to school? And the lady says, oh, honey, he's lying on a nail. It hurts just enough for him to complain, but not enough for him to actually take action and get off that nail. Mm. What nails are you lying on in 2021? Let's be the victor of our future and stop being the victim of your past. 2021 could be your greatest year ever. You got to commit to it and take action. I'm going to share some keto meal plans for you that could really help you along the way to help you burn fat. They taste delicious and uh, they'll help you feel good. So here we go. Choose one of these for breakfast on keto. And uh, you could either have five runny sunny side eggs with half an avocado and arugula cooked in avocado oil and then sprinkle two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. That's a healthy fat burning breakfast. Or you could have a fatty keto smoothie consisting of, of about three to four cups, three fourths of a cup of full fat coconut milk, uh, a quarter of a cup of water, half an avocado, two scoops of grass fed collagen protein powder and two tablespoons of organic raw walnut butter with ice. Those are terrific. You could also get, here's two lunch examples for you. A fatty salad is a great way to, to a great thing to have at lunch. Here's something that I like to do. Five to seven cups of green leafy vegetables, no spinach. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Handful of raw macadamia nuts, sea salt, and black pepper. And then you could add some protein, like eight ounces of wild salmon or grass-fed beef. We always want to aim to get, by the way, about eight ounces of protein at all of your keto meals. Option number two for lunch is spaghetti squash noodles with sliced free-range chicken, eight ounces of it. And then you could have a handful of macadamia nuts and grizzle it with olive oil. What about dinner options for keto? Here are two options for you. You could have half a sweet potato. Yes, you could still have some sweet potato. Uh, by that point, your glycogen stores are pretty much depleted. So you, half a sweet potato is not enough to knock you out of ketosis. 
And then you can have steamed Brussels sprouts and two servings of a quarter organic chicken, the leg and the thigh with the skin on. Or you could have eight ounce grass fed steak, sauteed arugula, and one cup of steamed Brussels sprouts with one tablespoon of butter on top. Mm, sounds delicious. Okay, before I open it up to questions, I do have a keto diet masterclass that I'm doing this week. This is a brand new masterclass. We are almost at capacity, and I'm going to teach you how to flex in and out of ketosis. So there's going to be some advanced strategies. I'm going to break down a complete list of clean keto versus dirty keto, the role intermittent fasting plays with accelerating ketosis. I'm going to give you some proven strategies to increase ketones. I'm going to show you how to do keto. I'm going to show you all the keto secrets. This is a 90-minute free masterclass. If you go to ketosismasterclass.com, you can get signed up for that for free. We're going to also give away over $300 worth in downloads. So if you could type that into the chat box, ketosismasterclass.com, I can't wait to see you on there. I have an opportunity for those of you on here right now, before I get to your questions, I have a Keto Flex cookbook. I sell it for $21. It's only available digital download. You get this for free. If you want to get my digital download of the Keto Flex cookbook for free, here's how you can do it. Um, you would go to my Keto Camp podcast on Apple Podcast. So let me pull that up here. And then you would subscribe to the podcast. You would hit the subscribe button. As you can see, I'm already subscribed. So number one, subscribe to the Keto Camp podcast. Go down to ratings and reviews, write a review, click that. And you're going to write your review here. Honest review. You're going to give it a, a rating. And then you're going to take a screenshot of your rating of re review and submit that screenshot to support at ketocamp.com. And then I'm going to reply with a digital, a digital downloadable link for the KetoFlex cookbook, which retails at $21. So if you want to get that book cookbook for free, it's 21 fat burning recipes. All you got to do is leave the Keto Camp podcast an honest rating and review, take a screenshot and submit that to support at ketocamp.com. All right, let me get to your questions. This is so much fun. I love being here with you all. Um, let's see. We have Barbara in San Jose. We have Julia in Texas. We have, uh, so, thank you for the tags. Abigail, I appreciate you tagging your friends. We have Ottawa in the house. We have Santa Ana, good to see that. Organic sunflower seed butter is okay. Arlene, I like that. Bile, I love that you're on board with me. Celery could be one too. Yep, that could be a bitter as well. Amanda, good to see you. Yvonne, I love that you're seeing that. My gallbladder doesn't work. So Yvonne, I have a video on five ways to do keto without a gallbladder. It's on my Keto Camp YouTube channel. Yep, ox bile supplements, exactly berry. That could definitely help. I love it. Suck, suck, success. That's right. That's right. So let's get to your questions here. <clears throat> All right, Victor, not the victim. I love that. Suck, suck, success. Start shooting me your questions. You might, it might be up in the feed, but if you could repost them. Is sesame oil okay, says Elizabeth. Yes, sesame oil could be okay if it's organic, cold pressed, and as long as you're not heating it up. So you could just have it for like a, a dressing or a dip. That's totally fine. Beth's on a 22 hour fast. I love that. Best protein after a workout. At dinner time, please. Yes, Rolla, the best protein. I love beef. Red meat is terrific. So grass-fed beef uh, is terrific. You know, the more red, the better. Well done is not good. Don't eat. Don't burn your meat. Jennifer, I'm so grateful that Yvonne is your mom and you love my videos. Thank you so much. Please thumbs up button here on YouTube if you haven't done so already. Let's see what other questions. I have my dog snores down below me here. If you ask the question up above, I can't see it. So repost it. Any wanna, anybody want to explain the bile thing? Bio, bio, bile. Yeah, um, Mike, bile helps break down fat. And when you eat more fat on keto, it's going to help you assimilate that fat. Also, here's something I didn't mention. Bile has a detoxification benefit. And when you burn fat and shrink fat cells on keto, you dump toxins. Bile can help you remove those toxins. Carb cycling and fasting specific for women. Yeah, Maheen. So on Friday, on the webinar, the Ketosis Masterclass webinar, I'm going to talk about that. I'll give you just a general example. If you're a woman doing keto and you have a monthly period, a monthly cycle, five to seven days before the month cycle is where I recommend to my Keto Camp Academy members that we 
you get out, not we, I don't have a period, that you get out of your um, ketosis and have more higher healthy carbs, 75 grams to 100 grams to make two hormonal conversions, estrogen and progesterone. So that's a good example right there. I'm going to talk more about that over at ketosismasterclass.com. Um, I'm going to put the banner up here for you. Yeah, ketosismasterclass.com will be good. Okay, next question is digestive enzymes. I'll use the one from Systemic Formulas called D-Digest. That one contains ox bile. Bioptimizers actually has a good one called Capex, which is specific for those doing keto. So bioptimizers.com. And if you use keto camp at checkout, I think you'll get 15% off. How can you reduce your fasting blood sugars besides apple cider vinegar? Gloria, great question. Here are proven strategies that help um, reduce your fasting blood sugars. Number one, control your stress, master your stress. Make sure you're not stressed out. Number two, cold exposure, hot exposure can drive down glucose. You could also take something like berberin, uh, chromium, cinnamon. These have been proven to lower blood sugar levels. So those are some things you can do. Uh, Don says, I want to join the keto camp. I am type 2 diabetic. Can I do keto? Don, we've had, for example, um, we've had people stop taking insulin in the keto camp academy because of how healthy they've gotten. I'm not telling you to stop taking your insulin if you're taking it. I'm just giving you an example. So Shannon is one of the persons, uh, one of the students who have done that. So if you want to join the Keto Camp Academy, you could join ketocampacademy.com. We have a 14-day trial. I would love to help you. If you can leave a review on Stitcher, that'll work as well. Sarah, that's fine. Uh, let's see. What would you be your number one tip to get back on track after the holidays? Friends, here's what you want to do. If you ever fall off track, if you ever get a setback, Remember this, my friends. It is never about the setback. It is always about the get back. Just keep pushing forward. What can you learn from that setback? When you are so committed to your goals, when you have your eye on the prize, then obstacles become opportunities to learn. So I recommend you surround yourself with like-minded individuals like the Keto Camp Academy. I recommend you keep watching these videos, get this information, go listen to the Keto Camp podcast. Just really brainwash yourself with good information. That's what I do. What do you think about flavored ground coffee? Coffee is really hard to get a good source. So flavored coffee grounds, I don't know. It depends on the company. You know, Purity Coffee is my go-to, but uh, they would have to be tested for heavy metals and mold, and they have to be organic. That's what Purity Coffee does. They hit all those numbers there. Okay, let's see what other questions you have here for me. Let me pull up the Facebook questions. Facebook, if you have any questions, let me know. I could pull up your comments here and actually show it on the screen. Let's see. Video. What do you think about... Okay, I already answered that. What do you think about the new thing, Ketovore? Yeah, Shelly, I think it's terrific. Uh, you know, when you're doing carnivore, you, you are in ketosis. You should be. So Ketovore is great. I think... It could be a great tool for you to combine it. Of course, you want to do it the right way, healthy animals, organ meat, but uh, it could be done well. Mike says, this video was informative. Thanks. Watch some of your videos in the past, making keto and intermittent fasting a lifestyle. Down 10 kilograms, another five to go. Good night from Saudi Arabia. That's so awesome, Mike. Good night to you, man. Get some good sleep. I appreciate you watching. Best macro ratio for protein to fat, please. So here's what you want to do when, when you want to learn how much fat and protein to eat on keto. Consume 40 to 50 grams of protein at all of your keto meals at the minimum. That's about eight ounces, eight to 10 ounces of protein. Fill the rest with fat, enough fat so that you're satisfied and satiated. Remember, your body can get fat from your keto calories or your body can get fat from your butt, your hips, and your thighs. You choose. So prioritize protein, fill the rest with fat, keep carbs under 30 grams or so total for the day. Thank you, Francie. I'm, I'm grateful that I'm able to inspire you. Yeah, Kim, five eggs is exactly what we want. We want about 40 grams of protein at each meal. So that's what we want. And I'm sorry about your car accident. Heal up, heal quick. Autophagy could help with the healing, sending you love and light for your body to heal. Is it normal to have hypoglycemia when you're doing keto? No, Maureen, it's not normal. I would recommend you work with a practitioner and see what's going on there. I've seen medication do that. So if you're on a medication, it could be doing that. So work with a health professional and see what's going on there. 
Faye, thank you. I would appreciate if you all shared this video on your timeline, on Facebook, on social media. Maybe you text it to a friend. I'm going to answer a couple more questions and then I'm going to get off of here. If you're new to the channel, by the way, uh, welcome. Subscribe. We are committed to getting out information to you all the time. Three videos per week and every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, 9 a.m. Pacific time. I'm live with you here on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I haven't missed a Wednesday in almost two years. Just starting carnivore and got the keto mojo tester, says Will. Good job. If I test now and getting, if I test now and get my starting, what should I test again? All right, so here are the optimal glucose, blood glucose and blood ketone numbers to look out for Will and everybody else. The sweet spot for ketones I've seen, blood test is, so that's beta hydroxybutyrate, is 0 0.8 to 2.8. Cali, you're incredible too. Much love. Dan, Dr. Dan, good to see you. 0 0.8 to 2.8, and then um, for your blood glucose, 70 to 90 when you're fasted. If you're hitting those numbers, boom. I'm going to also give some advanced strategies on, on, on this week's um, Keto Masterclass, so sign up for it. I want to know who's going to be on there. If you're going to be on the Masterclass, type in Masterclass. This is going to be so much fun. 90 minutes, so carve out that time. Oh, man, I, I can't wait for it. I'm, I'm excited for it. <clears throat> okay, Keto Treat. Um, I like berries and I have, have them with your meals. Don't snack on keto. Please don't snack on keto. So have your keto berries like blueberries and raspberries with your meals. Hypertension and keto. Yeah, there's a, I have a video on hypertension, high blood pressure on keto and how to reverse it. So, um, go watch that video. Keto is the antidote, by the way, healthy keto, clean keto. Uh, Rolo's going to be there. Angel mom's going to be there. Mahim's going to be there. Kitten's going to be there. Barbie's going to be there. I love it. Marcella, Andrea. Hey, Peter, good to see you. What about drinking liquids with your meals? I tend to stay away from drinking liquids with my meals because it could, you know, you, you won't get the best digestion when you're having liquids with your meals. So I tend to have it away uh, if you want to really, really want to optimize that meal. Alina's going to be on there. I know that. JJ, awesome. That's super cool. I'll answer uh, one more question here, and then I'm going to sign off and go and get in uh, my fasted workout before I hop on some calls with the Keto Camp Academy members. Gloria is going to be there. I love it. Okay, so I signed up. Amanda is going to be there. Elaine says I want to do vegan instead of meat. Go for it, uh, Elaine. I don't think that's a good long-term approach, but it could give you some short-term benefits. You've got an extra S in class, master class. Oh, yeah, I do. That's because... I just always go extra. So let me let me fix that. And thank you for that. Let's see if I could fix that. And there we go. Boom. My ketone levels are 0.8 and my energy levels are low. Kevin, it could be some maybe hidden sources of inflammation. So I recommend doing the tips I recommended earlier. Remove the spinach, the almonds, the vegetable oils, because although those might get you in ketosis, it could still create inflammation. So re remove those things. Bulletproof coffee, your thoughts? I think it's great, especially in the beginning as a, as a way to transition from a high carb diet. So that's terrific. I love bulletproof coffee. Um, and uh, just make sure you just don't go overboard with the fat because your body does have to burn the fat calories before it goes back to your body fat. Keep that in mind. But it's a great mental performance and it has some healthy fat there. Please hit the thumbs up button here on YouTube. Please share this with a friend. I'm going to sign off here. I really hope you enjoyed this. I hope to see you on the Mastering Keto webinar, uh, ketosismasterclass.com, and just have a blast.